this is enthusiastic Steve and you join me down in my bunker. <laughs> Not really my bunker, a bunker. And I've just been down and done some replenishment. And now we're heading back up to the surface where we're going to go into the uh, ground floor, uh, <laughs> ground floor, the surface workshop. And I'll show you more of the go bag setup. And now for the uh, climber to the surface. Got the old spiral staircase. Well, that's quite a steep climb. I'm actually exhausted now. Right, welcome to my uh, virtual little workshop here. Now, I just a quick want to talk to you about what I've, my hopes were in this video. I wanted to make a tactical go bag. Now, yes, preppers, um, it would be very useful for yourselves, not just for preppers though, for recreational, uh, for amateur radio use, etc. A nice little bag with a compact UHF antenna, tiny little radio, its own power supply, portable, you can chuck it in your car, you can take it with you, you can take it on a push bike if need be, or even pedestrian. Go out in the open in the countryside, up on the hill, you can use it to stay in touch with others, you can use it to contact amateur radio repeaters, simplex, etc, etc. In the event of the Armageddon striking, it will be very useful as well. Um, but, you yeah, know, it can be used for many things. It's just a, an exercise into making a portable radio system cheaply and efficiently. So this is the final goal, a portable tactical UHF go bag. This needs to be a simple project. So let's just take a look at the components involved. First, the broadband UHF antenna. I chose a Serio SP0380. It's a compact, very solid antenna, professionally made. Inside the strong casing, you will find a dipole antenna design. This enables the antenna to work from 380 to 470 megahertz, quite a broad range. Manufacturers are quoting a 2.15 dBi gain from this antenna, which is generally in line with any dipole. Next was to choose the correct radio. I chose the QYT KT8900R. Why? It's compact, it's small, it does VHF and UHF, ideal for this little project. Plus, it so happens I have got a spare one in the cupboard, so I thought I might as well utilise it. Now, this is a robust little radio, plus it's got a lovely little cooling fan on the back, so it won't mind working inside the bag. The radio comes with a lovely handy little microphone. It's lightweight, robust, and it lights up for night use. Next to the power source. The criteria for the battery, of course, was lightweight, compact, and have enough power to do the job. Ideally, you need a lithium iron or lipo type batteries. These are very light and pack a punch. Unfortunately, I never had neither of these available, so I opted for a small lead acid battery. A little bit heavier, but 15 amp hours will give plenty of power. This particular battery came from a golf cart buggy. To carry the radio, antenna and battery and wires etc, I needed a small, compact and strong little little rucksack basically. This little military version came from a, like an army surplus store. The next job was to actually connect everything together. First of all, I had to make a couple of small holes inside the actual rucksack to pass the cables through from the radio to the actual antenna. On the base of the antenna, I had to use an N-Type to SO239 adapter. I then added a 90 degrees uh, elbow joint to assist it uh, going through the bag. Connected up the coax and then connected that to the radio. All that was left was then to connect the power leads up to the battery. Don't forget safety, always use a fuse. And carry a spare fuse as well. Now, after just a little bit of effort, maybe a little bit of swearing, if you've stabbed yourself with the old scissors cutting that hole in the Gore-Tex bag, um, you should end up with something looking like this. Your very own tactical UHF go bag. And here is the completed project. 
Next step is to take it out hilltop and let's try this little bag out. Right, we're up on the hill and we're going to give it a go on the, uh, there's a hub net type repeater about eight or nine miles away, that way. I can hear voices coming through now on the channel. I'll break in as soon as I can. I'll do a QSK. A QSK. I've acknowledged me. I'm getting free. It is working. Audio is very good. What's your call sign? The uh, ah, the break. I'm in. Um, go ahead. The break. Give your call sign over. Yeah. Good evening, gentlemen. I won't hold you too long. This is a Mike Six, a whiskey uh, Victor Victor, uh, pedestrian portable. I've just made up a little UHF uh, tactical go bag. Now I'm up on top of the hill in Ports, Ports Downhill overlooking the Solent and the Isle of Wight and I'm just uh, perched on a railing just uh, using the little antenna getting into a repeater about nine miles away. Uh, back to you. Let's see the third. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> um, uh, That's a comment on a CB antenna, a DV27 in the olden days. Uh, Use a biscuit tin as a ground plane. It ground works. Space here, me. It's working. This yeah, is about nine working, miles away. Well, you, uh, wonder... Yeah, Mike sits uh, whiskey. Victor, Victor return. Yeah, you're correct. It is a uh, G7 RPG's uh, repeater. I'm at, it's actually on the other. I'm on top of the hill, but I'm over the brow at the moment. So um, I actually haven't got no line of sight directly with the repeater. So it's doing well to get over the brow. And then down, dropping down into Portsmouth itself, where the repeater is. But uh, I just wanted to come out and quickly test this uh, tonight. I'm going to pop down to a couple of other local repeaters and see if I can do any simplex on it. But yeah, I appreciate you coming back. I said I'm just, just if you don't mind, I'm just recording a little bit of this just to hear the audio back later, to be honest. But uh, thank you very much. I won't disturb your net any longer. And uh, all the best from uh, Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor. No, he's working well, mate. He's working well. Thank you, Mike. Hello, this uh, station. There's another station coming back to me now. Yeah, uh, M7 Echo Whiskey Yankee uh, uh, with uh, 280 FGG and uh, an M6 uh, station uh, who's got his aerial all set up uh, uh, on a big hill there. Uh, yes, your audio is really, really good. Uh, depending on, uh, considering how far away you are from uh, your repeater. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, it's yeah, working a treat. Uh, and I've got this on low very, power, very well. it's doing about 8 watts. Um, yeah, so keep it up from M7, Echo Whiskey Yankee, uh, in Chatham, in Kent, in the group. M7, Echo Whiskey Yankee, from Mike Sitz Whiskey, Victor Victor, out portable from uh, one dockyard town to another. Um, yeah, good evening to you. I uh, say so you're absolutely crystal clear, booming through here. It's an old QYT, little micro, little uh, miniature, little transceiver. And I'm using a Serio uh, UHF um, dipole. It's in a fiber, it's a white fiberglass stick, but it's very short. It's a little uh, 70 centimeter broadband antenna, which has got a dipole system inside it. But um, just put it into a little go bag, really. I've got a portable battery. And I'm sat here now on the countryside um, on a farmer's metal railing gate. The radio is perched on top of that at the moment. I'm just steadying it with one hand and talking to you in the other. I've actually got Nelson's Monument, uh, not the one in London. That's a column. I've got Nelson's Monument 100 yards in front of me, directly in front of me. So if you ever look up on the map, Nelson's Monument, you'll see on top of Ports Downhill. And you'll see the farmer's gate just along the road. Go. It seems to work the treat. Says to get his finals. He sounds fantastic here as well, uh, Mike. That's three beats here. Yeah. Oh, looks like. Yeah, uh, uh, VK3 BC <laughs> Australia. Uh, Coming through the repeater. Whiskey Victor Victor. Now, this will be the ultimate <laughs> test. Ultimate test. Your, uh, radio setup now. Uh, 
Um, so he's coming in from 14,000 14, miles Australian away. Australian station. This is DB 303. Uh, VK3. I'm oh, sorry, I apologise. I forgot the last video. I didn't came up there and it distracted me. But VK3 station. Good. Um, let's have a look. It must be early hours of the morning with you. Uh, this is Mike Sitz, a whiskey, Victor Victor, watching the sun slowly, slowly set in uh, southern UK, just the north of Portsmouth. Uh, portable, uh, back to you, sir. Victor Victor, VK3, BCS returning. Uh, and he's got me. You sound like you're in the same room as me. That's how good the, uh, the reception that? is by whichever repeater you're going Flawless through and via echo. Comms. Is, uh, I know it's going through repeaters. Uh, fantastic. And the internet, uh, audio is, uh, but perfect, just shows you uh, can no achieve. So I just thought I'd add that in. Long distance uh, VX. Before you uh, run off and try the simplex uh, frequencies. So uh, have a fantastic evening from uh, VK3 BCS. Yeah, VK3 uh, BCS, I believe. Uh, this is Mike Sitz, the Whiskey Victor Victor Portable. Appreciate you coming back. So the operating name here is Steve. I forgot to say that at the beginning. I do apologise. It was a little rude of me. But yeah, name here is Steve, everybody. And uh, thank you very much indeed. And uh, it works, doesn't it? It works a treat. And this hubnet system is absolutely brilliant. It's even like this. It's nice to get out and about. And uh, prove that, especially to prove this little portable pack works. I just need a lighter battery. I'm using a little lightweight. Well, it's a lightweight. It's a lead acid. It's a small one, but it's still a bit lumpy to carry everywhere. Um, I need to upgrade to a, a lithium or lipo. Anyway, yes, I made the contact. Thanks, fantastic. I just called in at the right time. Appreciate everything, guys. Uh, I'll let you on with your net. This is Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor. We'll now be going clear. 73s, everyone. Cheers, Steve, from uh, VK3 BCS. Over to you, Mike. Brilliant. Right, I gave a quick call out on 77's uh, Simplex, but there's nobody around this evening, unfortunately. It's a bit quiet. Um, I think there's football on TV, so people are probably indoors watching that or out enjoying the sunshine. It's a lovely, nice, cool summer's evening. What I'm going to do now, there's a repeater. There's the Isle of Wight, six or seven miles that way. And in the centre of the island, or near as, there is a repeater. Uh, I'm going to try and call into that one, see if I get any contacts. There's Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor. Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor, on the mainland, uh, portable. Give them a call out on the uh, GB3 IW. Stand by for any calls. Got into the repeater. I heard it go click. We'll just see if anybody comes back. Someone's come back. A bit quiet. Good evening, this is Mike Sitz Whiskey Victor Victor Portable. I believe that was Tango Quebec Mike. I do apologise if I got that wrong. Um, I was a little bit distracted then by the, <laughs> the bright sun in my eyes up here on Ports Down Hill. But good evening to you. It's Steve here, Operator Steve from Mike Sitz Whiskey Victor Victor. I'll just give a quick call out. I'm just testing a, uh, a little portable uh, UHF 70 centimetre radio pack I've made. A little radio, a battery and a little antenna, you know, like a little go bag. And just uh, just checking it out. Uh, back to you. Yeah, fine. Well, it seems to be working very well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's just very checking his bandwidth. Uh, he is a little bit quiet. But that makes it no better. Zero TQM portable. Uh, G0 TQM portable. Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor, Victor portable. And uh, good evening to you, Carl. I say the name here is Steve. Um, I would try 25, to be honest, uh, wide. Um, you are coming through okay, but your, your audio is a little bit on the quiet side. Back to you. G0 TQM portable. Uh, Mike Sitz Whiskey Victor Victor a portable also returning. Uh, have a great time at the festival. That's um, got a, a work colleague who's going over there. Um, that's the Isle of Wight festival there. It's a, a famous, lovely evening. Yeah, absolutely lovely at the moment. It's a nice, gentle, cool breeze. The sun has just lost a little bit of its strength, uh, but it's a lovely evening. Yeah, I'm just, if you don't mind, I'm just recording this a bit just to hear the audio back later. Um, I'm just trying to see what it sounds like. It's literally a, a QYT 8900R little transceiver. 
Um, not very big at all, about four and a half inches square. It's going through a little Serio UHF uh, white stick antenna. It's a broadband little dipole uh, inside a fiberglass white pole job. And I've just been on the hub net. There's a hub net repeater over in Portsmouth that's uh, analog as well on 70 SEMS. That's pretty good. And uh, I had a little chat on there. I called CQ on 500, but nobody's around. So I thought I'll give the repeater a call on the Isle of Wight, which is uh, probably about probably about eight or nine miles, maybe 10 miles away from my location. And again, it's not perfect line of sight because I've, I'm on the rearward side of Portsdown Hill at the moment, sitting on a farmer's gate, or literally on a farmer's gate. Anyway, this is Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor Portable. Uh, back to G0, uh, TQM, I believe. Uh, Carl, uh, back to you. TV3IW, TV3 that's the call sign of the repeater. I believe uh, your uh, your bands are on. I think the, the Prodigy's on. Uh, Simple Minds is on. The Pretenders are on. Um, and uh, a few other uh, biggish bands and that. I should imagine you're going to have a great time over there. Anyway, uh, all the best to you, Carl. I'm going to have to disappear shortly, but I do appreciate you coming back to the call. Back to you, Carl. That was a very successful test of the uh, tactical go bag up here atop Ports Downhill. Some good contacts there. A run through the repeater about 10, 11 miles away on the Isle of Wight. Uh, one down in Portsmouth, which is down, tucked away down the hill over that side. So again, not line of sight. The audio from that radio, the QIT, has been, well, they said how good the audio was. So fantastic little set, very cheap. Uh, you can pick them up for not a lot of pounds or dollars nowadays. They're very cheap indeed. And there's modern alternatives out there. You don't need big fancy radios. If you've got to have emergency comms or any types of comms or just want to get on the airwaves or play a bit of amateur or ham radio, they are perfect. And it just proves that little go bag does the job. Only upgrade I would do is change the lead acid battery, bring it, make it a lipo or lithium battery to save a little bit of weight. Other than that, absolutely perfect. Even with that little battery in there, I reckon I could get 30 odd hours of use out of it. No problem whatsoever. So, fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, I know this uh, video was primarily based on amateur ham radio uh, 70 centimeters, but this radio setup will also work on the general mobile radio service, the GMRS, and uh, that's in America, and here in the UK, the PMR446. But unfortunately, it's not actually legal to do so for whatever reasons. Uh, though in this country, we in the UK, we do have a lot of GMRS radios in circulation. So you do often hear um, communications on them. So just to reiterate, if you're a prepper, if you're an amateur radio operator, a ham radio operator, or just interested in radio, these little go bags are ideal. Hopefully you uh, found that interesting, that little video. It may have inspired you to try and go out and make your own little portable radio bag, your tactical go bag as such. A prepper, amateur radio, or just recreational rec uh, listening on the bands. Great little thing to have about. Chuck it in your boot, in your caravan, in your camper, wherever. Nice little bit of kit to have. Um, again, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, click the old like button. It helps my YouTube channel as such. Please feel free to just subscribe. That's our word to get out this afternoon. And um, I've got lots of other videos on there based on all radio items and things, from listening to amateur to CB, you name it, it's out there, antennas, etc. So thank you. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And uh, stay safe, take care, stay prepared. This has been Enthusiastic Steve. All the very best.